Hello! Welcome to a new chapter of the Warren Buffett Notes. Here we daily talk about the Oracle of Oklahoma, Warren Buffett. This man is one of the greatest investors in history, and we will help you to become a new Warren Buffett. And the question for today, why is Buffett sitting on $168 billion? Do you want to know why he's sitting on this crazy amount of money? Or where does this money come from? Yeah, watch this video till the end to know more. Time has proven quite the ally for the Oracle of Omaha. When Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett buys or sells a stock, the investing community wisely pays close attention. That's because the Oracle of Omaha's investing track record speaks for itself. Since taking the reins in 1965, Buffett has led his company's class of shares to an aggregate gain of 3.6 million percent at the end of 2021. While there are a lot of factors that have played a role in Warren Buffett's success, including his love of cyclical companies and dividend stocks, it's his patience that's proven most important. By allowing his winners to run, he's racked up jaw-dropping unrealized gains for Berkshire Hathaway's $334.7 billion investment portfolio. As of this past weekend, Warren Buffett was sitting on $168 billion in unrealized gains from four core holdings. Take note, none of these gains factor in the dividend income Berkshire Hathaway is receiving from these four stocks. Number 4. Bank of America – $20.6 billion in unrealized gains The fourth stock that's generated a mountain of unrealized profit for Warren Buffett is Bank of America. Berkshire Hathaway's second-largest holding by market value has delivered approximately $20.6 billion in unrealized gains, not including dividends paid. Bank of America has wisely invested in digitization as well. Over the past three years, BOFA has grown its active digital user count by 6 million to 43 million and has importantly seen the percentage of loan sales completed online or via mobile app catapult to 48%. Number 3. American Express – $21.9 billion in unrealized gains The next longest-held Buffett stock after Coca-Cola is payment processor American Express – AXP – 3.82% This continuous holding since 1993 has led Berkshire Hathaway to $21.9 billion in unrealized gains. What's more, Berkshire's cost basis of $8.49 per share is translating into a yield on cost of almost 25%. MX is the epitome of a Warren Buffett stock and that time is its greatest ally. Even though recessions are an inevitable part of the economic cycle, history shows that downturns don't last very long. Number 2. Coca-Cola – $22.5 billion in unrealized gains As for tenure, no stock has been a longer continuous holding in Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio than beverage giant Coca-Cola. Coke has steadily gained from Berkshire's cost basis of about $3.25 per share and delivered roughly $22.5 billion in unrealized gains over the past 34 years. Thanks to this low basis, Buffett's company is enjoying a 54% annual yield on cost. One of the factors that makes Coca-Cola so great is that it sells non-discretionary goods no matter how well or poorly the U.S. and global economy are performing, people still need to eat and drink. This makes it unlikely that they'll trade down from Coca-Cola products to something else, which in turn allows Coke to generate highly predictable cash flow year in and year out. Number 1. Apple – $103 billion in unrealized gains In terms of nominal dollar gains, tech stock Apple appears set to go down as Warren Buffett's greatest investment. With 13F aggregator WhaleWisdom.com estimating a $37.17 average price paid per share of Apple, I'd estimate Berkshire Hathaway to be sitting on an unrealized gain of about $103 billion as of the closing bell on September 16, 2022. Don't look for Buffett or his investing lieutenants, Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, to take profits on Apple anytime soon. That's because it's considered one of Berkshire's four giants, and it checks all the appropriate boxes for an investor like Buffett who prefers to hold great businesses for years, if not decades. So which stock is the best chair for the future? Let me now in the comments what do you think?
This was it for today. We hope you enjoy it.